Hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome to Halloween week. Today I'm going to show you how to turn into spider mama. This is another trend this year that has popped on Instagram. The person to actually inspire me was Taylor Graham and I saw this image on Twitter. It is just amazing. I love her makeup underneath. I love that spider. I will try and recreate this, but I'm gonna add my own spin on it. So if you would like to know how to get this look, spidery look, something, <laughs> just keep on watching. Today I'm going to start with my eyes because I will be using black. And as we all know, if there is a little bit of fallout on my base because this will be a dark look i'm going to fill my brows with my eyelid pomade in blonde and an angled brush because i need them defined and i need them thick i'm not really doing hair strokes almost blot brows to clean them up a little bit i'm using catrice liquid camouflage i'm also priming my lids with this I will be using Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette because it has exactly the colours that I need to achieve this look. I haven't set my lid so I'm going straight in with the eyeshadow. I'm taking a fluffy brush and pukey mixed with creamsicle and of course I'm using the blending brush to blend it almost to the brow. I want just the tiniest bit of that concealer to come through between the two shades. Now I've got that, I'm only taking creamsicle and adding that on top. This is a lot more yellow and that's what I want. I want a warm toned crease. I'm going to take a blending brush that's reasonably small, so it's still fluffy but it's a lot smaller and I'm taking Mocha which is the darker brown chocolatey colour and I'm putting that in the crease as well. All the way in to the inner corner. You want to make like a circular shape, so I'm not moving my brush. Because this is fluffy it will fluff it up just above my crease as well. Brush that had creamsicle and pukey on it and blending my previous shade with mocha. I'm taking an even smaller blending brush. This is 203 Bold Metals Real Techniques. I'm taking mocha again and again, putting that in my crease, doing the same thing, but because this is a smaller brush, it will not fluff up as much. I'm only reapplying it, so it's really, really intense. Just to blend, I'm taking the brush that had Yuki and Creamsicle on it. What you wanna do now is take either a very small packer brush, a flat brush, or an angled brush, and I'm taking Inglot Black Gel Liner in 77, and I'm putting it on my mobile lid, just shy of my crease, almost in the inner corner and almost on the outer corner of my eye. And now I'm going to take shading brush from Real Techniques, taking a base which is the black, making sure I'm tapping off the excess. What I'm doing is applying this on the edge of where I've put the gel liner. Not really blending, I'm just putting it on and wiggling it in. What you don't really want to do is apply this black higher than your crease because you're going to blend it and if you put it too high up you might end up blending like up to your brow. Always easier to add than to take away. I'm taking my 203, I'm blending the edge of a base which is the black with my 203. If you are struggling to blend the black, you can take a smidge of mocha. That will help you blend 
that seam so as you can hopefully see I didn't go past crease with the black when I applied it but because I'm blending it it is ending up just above my crease that's what blending does to you at the moment I can't do any more so I'm just going to do my other eye off of camera and I will be right back got it <laughs> now I'm digging Inglot gel lining black 77 again. I'm going to add it on my waterline and I'm also going to tight line. I'm gonna move on to my face. You already know this is not sponsored by the way. I wish it was, but <laughs> I'm taking Wet and Wild photo focus. Catrice liquid camouflage to go under my eyes. I will take just the tiniest bit of RCMA no colour powder to set my concealer. For my contour, I will be using Makeup Geek Contour Pan in Breakup. I'm going to use Multitask Brush to pick up a breakup. So what I'm doing is the usual thing when it comes to my cheeks, but when I come into the centre of my cheek, I'm going to swoop it down just the tiniest bit. Because it's Halloween and we can definitely be extra, I'm gonna go with a blinding highlight as well. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero palette. One, four, three on my brush. This picks up so well. They're very creamy, they're very delicate. Oh my goodness. Okay, finally getting back to the eyes and I'm taking the smaller blending brush and I'm taking mocha to go underneath my eye shading brush from Real Techniques I'm taking Abyss going into my inner corner as well all the way on my lower lash line and now I'm going to draw my spider I will be using my face paint but if you don't have black face paint you can go ahead and use the gel liner I'm first going to use the tip of my angled brush to map out where I want the legs Starting to draw my legs in. That's alright, hers is a hundred times better, so I do recommend for you to give it a like on Twitter. I'm just going to take my time drawing the legs in. If you are getting frustrated with one bit, just stop, move on, do something else and then come back to it because frustration is no good under any circumstance because your brain simply shuts down. So if you are getting frustrated with one bit, either carry on, just take a deep breath and carry on or leave it, have a breather, get yourself some tea, relax come back to it. At the moment it doesn't look the best but as we all know highlights and shadow and detail can make everything work. If your face paint is going everywhere that means it's too watery. Just make sure you are making almost like a paste, almost the consistency 
of the eyeliner, the gel liner from Inglot. You want like a thick paste so it doesn't go everywhere and ruins your makeup. I forgot to mention that if you find it easier to do this with a liner brush rather than an angled brush, obviously go ahead and do that. I just think that lines are easier when they're done with an angled brush and an angled brush usually has a nicer tip, so like a really sharp edge where I can do the pointy little legs on the spider. At the moment I look more like a, a tribal warrior or something. I must say, this is not easy, so like I said, take your time with this. I can, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. And now the part where I think this is the bomb when it comes to this look. Because not everybody has done this and it's the actual 3D shadow underneath the spider. So what I'm gonna do is take a base which is the black shadow in the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I'm almost making a mirror image, but just like a really faint line. I've started doing the shadow portion of my spider with an angled brush and I very quickly realised it's going to be too precise. So I'm taking an angled brush, dipping it into a base and really gently smudging this. Like a very, very faint line. Exactly what we want. I'm even going to take a fluffy brush, very gently smear this, that's definitely it, but I feel like I need to add more of black because this is just my eye with legs. I'm going to take my shading brush again and this is what makeup is about. I started doing this not wanting my black to go up too high. And now I see that I just need it quite high up here and then quite low down here. I'm just going to quickly give it a little blend. Let's add some highlights. And to do that, I'm going to use white face paint. And I'm using a tiny, tiny little eyeliner brush. I think I'm done with my spider, I'm just going to add a cobweb of off camera to kind of match the theme and I will be right back. Okay, so this was crazy hard, so I didn't do the shadow portion of my cobweb. If you would like to know how to create this cobweb, all I did was draw a line and then did arms from the line. I left one portion to show you guys do squigglies for a bit one centimeter in i started doing like almost drew a reversed c i'm going to add mascara i'm going to be using bad girl bang today and i'm going to stick on some lashes i added mascara on both top and bottom For my lips, I've blocked out my lips with some concealer and reapplied my highlight. I'm going to do a reverse ombre. I'm taking Abyss, the black shadow from the Jaclyn Hill palette. Starting from the middle of my lips, I'm going to flick out the black. I'm also going to take a fluffy brush and help myself with the ombre. A lot of work there's a lot of elements to it but once you do it step by step you will achieve a good look take your time with it 
don't worry, it will look good. You will impress everyone at the party if you're going anywhere. Yeah, let me know what you think of this look. I really like it. Make sure to give me thumbs up. Those likes are going to Taylor Graham because without her, I would not be able to do this. I hope you have enjoyed this. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. And I hope to see you tomorrow with another video for Halloween. Bye. Thank you.